Let's take a look at what's going on in America today. Tucker Carlson here had a quick piece on socialism. Let's take a look at this. If you wake up in the morning and you find yourself in a society where 23-year-olds with four-year college degrees and, like, initiative who aren't smoking weed every day, if they can't make enough to buy a car, much less a home, much less get married, much less have children, then why should you be surprised when half of them say they prefer socialism? So when you're looking at uh, these areas of socialism versus capitalism, obviously, number one, if you're talking about kids going to college, well, I believe, number one, first and foremost, I'm very biased here, but I don't have a college degree. My kids don't have a college degree. And I, I'm looking at college right now, and I think college is one of the biggest scams <laughs> going on right now in America. Here's why. Here's three reasons why. Number one, an 18-year-old with a great business plan has a proof of concept that can show he can sell his product or service, goes to a bank and applies for a business loan to fund and finance this profitable idea, will be turned down versus a kid that goes to the same bank, says, I want to go to college for four years. No problem. How are you going to pay it back? Hopefully you have a job in four years. No problem. Approved, 100 grand. Versus a kid getting turned down for the same business idea. Number two, the tax-free status of everything on college campuses, ticket sales, jersey sales, book sales, anything that you sell, no sales tax. Everything's tax-free, concessions, everything's tax-free on a nonprofit campus. And the third, uh, third thing, let me unpack this even further. Harvard has a $50 billion endowment, largest endowment in American Eddy College. And did, I did the math here. If Harvard stopped earning interest on their $50 billion endowment, and they're paying for every college kid coming through Harvard, uh, the uh, $312,000 for a four-year degree to go through Harvard, think of that. You go to Harvard, $312,000 for four years. If they just stopped earning interest and paid for 1,000, which is the average class uh, graduation per year, was 1,665 students, to pay for these 1,600 students, $312,000 per year for a four-year college degree, they can pay every student tuition of 1,665 students for 96 years while earning another dime. Hmm. So that's a scam. Yeah. Why are you, why are you hoarding? All, what's $50 billion in an endowment fund for? So when, you, when you're looking at uh, the college you know, expectation, that's a scam in itself. So I would add to this the breakdown of the family. Mom and dad, because there's not entrepreneurship or capitalism promoted in the family, nobody's in business for themselves. we got to get more people being business for themselves so they can see the different side of this. Because number three, capitalism is the way all of us here at this table has, has allowed our families to live a better life through the system called economic mobility. To go from broke to busted, poor to having money, from, from having no awareness about finances, not to teaching finances, and now you're being able to bless not only other people, but also bless your own family. What's your thoughts on what Tucker Carlson here said about colleges and socialism? Man, I, I think this is a very, very, like, I love all the points that you just brought up, and I think that's a big deal, what he was saying, because, um, you know, it's like, how can we expect for people to uh you know want more like what how would we not think that they would believe in socialism uh when we're in these situations uh you're right about college <laughs> you know it's unfortunate i don't have a college degree mm. um i've got the sweat equity of like working <laughs> my way up you know yeah. the the ladder and, so all and, three of us here no college degree yeah all entrepreneurs mm -hmm. all in six figure plus income seven figure plus income yeah it's freaking awesome yeah so, um, what a podcast to watch. <laughs> <laughs> There's no excuses yeah. watching this right. podcast. It don't matter the color of your skin, how you grew up, yeah. uh, uh, what mommy and dad did or didn't do. Mm -hmm. There's no excuse right in this podcast. Zero. Exactly. As far as capitalism is, I think it's a very important concept. Um, I think that it's kind of been trashed and, and people don't understand like the importance of having that the understanding of having it in our community, especially like for me specifically speaking into like the black community, I can't speak for everybody in the black community, but I do believe that this is a concept that we don't usually get, mm -hmm. you know, we're, we're not, um, you know, we're taking hold of so many systems and things like that, which are great to help you get on your feet, but having control of our own future, like, I don't think people understand the importance of that. How powerful that How is. How powerful it is. Yeah, because when you, have, in the socialistic society, then you have no control. 
I always want to have control. If I'm broke, I want to be able to say it's because of this. These two hands right here that yeah. could have done more. Yep. And if I and I want to be able to teach my kids not to lean on other people and other things, but that they can do, they can have whatever they want in their life based off of what they're willing to go do. Mm-hmm. Right. And so, um, you know, you look at people who are in, you know, coming out of prison reform, people who, you know, and there's a lot of stories of people who like the society wouldn't give a chance, mm-hmm. but through capitalism, they were able to go make themselves a multimillionaire yeah. or whatever. So, um, you know, I think that there's there's a lot of conversation that needs to be had here for educational purposes. Yeah. Um, but I do agree with what he's saying that like the way that our country is is moving, there's no reason why people wouldn't be leaning more into that. And I think it also has to do with, especially when you're thinking about the millennials and things like that, where the where the economy was when we entered into the workforce, uh, you know, that we kind of had a lower leg than yeah. a lot of people. You might have had that still for same four-year degree. You yeah. still have to pay that same money back mm-hmm. into the degree. Yeah. But, you know, because we were coming out of a recession, there wasn't as much pay for jobs, yeah. uh, you know, and then as as the millennials started to grow and increase uh, in in the workforce, yeah. then we have another economic downturn situation here, yeah. which kind of puts more step setbacks and in income, you know. Whereas if you look at like Generation X, for example, they when they enter the workforce, you know, people are getting paid so much more for their jobs and things like that in those different positions. Um, and so I think for some millennials, I think we get caught up in this space of like leaning more into socialism because there's it doesn't feel like there's always a lot of opportunity financially to get ahead. And so it's it's kind of like that cushy place to like fall back Plus on. Plus the colleges are indoctrinating this stuff too as well. Exactly. They're 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 uh, they're indoctrinating just lean because what does capitalism force you to do? It forces you to take ownership of your situation. Exactly. It forces you to improve. Mm-hmm. But by the way, those are not bad things to do. Right. If you improve and take ownership of your situation, your life starts to change. However, once you have the entitlement or expectation attitude that somebody else is supposed to take care of you, and then you let down, you're disappointed, then you're mad. You know, so, somebody asked me, hey, hey, man, how do you describe capitalism to your, to your kids? Well, I said, kids, ma- imagine in a classroom, you study hard for your test, you got an A, but, you know, little Matt is in the classroom. He didn't study. So the teacher asked, hey, we have to help out little Matt. So what did all the kids do? They said, reduce your A down to a C to raise little Matt's F to a C. Mm-hmm. Okay? What, what, what happens to the kid that studied for the... What do you mean? I studied for this. Why don't we got to go from an A to a C? We got to help little Matt because he didn't study. He didn't do his part. Because he didn't do his part, we all have to help him. Mm-hmm. Second time it goes around. Let's take a test. How motivated are not the students that got an A previously? How motivated are they to study for the exam? They're not. So guess what happens the second time around? They probably get a C. What's the point of getting an A? Because it's going to get lowered down to a C anyway. But guess what little Matt does? I'm not studying. I'm still not studying. Right. So little Matt get, uh, says, hey, help me out. So everybody C, chip in. Everybody C lowers to a D. They raise the F to a D. Third time around. How, how motivated are people now to study for the test? Zero. Everybody gets an F. Third go around, everybody's failing that class. Because there's no incentive for the players in that mix to want to succeed. We are wired to hunt. We are wired to farm. We are wired to put work in and say, you know what? If I put the work in, I should receive the reward, the, the harvest. I should be able to get it. And for somebody else to take it, that's robbery. And that's what socialism is teaching a lot of people that if you don't have to work, it's okay. We'll just take it from the rich people. We just, just like right now with the, the mortgage interest rates. Mm-hmm. That, that's a socialist move by Biden. says, listen, let's, let's raise the interest rates for the people that have got good credit, that have a down payment because they're financially responsible, and lower the interest rates for those that haven't been so financially responsible and lower credit, and let's reward them for their mediocrity. What society do you want? Do you want society? Does, does Rihanna and Michael Jordan ever exist in a socialistic economy? No. There's no incentive. And that billion dollar industry would never. Dreams and goals of future athletes would be nothing because there's nothing to fight for and earn. So if you like that clip, please watch this one right here. If you want to see the full podcast, click right here.